That evening, Thomas told Percy to stop surprising his friends. You made Bertie skid across the road, and my freight cars got damaged, said Thomas. Percy was sorry. I won't do it again, he wailed. I promise. But the next day, Percy was bringing the milk train from the dairy. I wish I could have one more loud whistle, he said to himself. He couldn't see any people or engines. But there was something else Percy couldn't see. Trevor was taking food to the farm animals. With snow on the ground, they couldn't find any grass to eat. Percy took the biggest puff of all and blew. Trevor was so surprised his trailer bumped into a pile of logs. A log fell and rolled down the hill. Snow stuck to the log. It turned into a snowball. The snowball got bigger and bigger. Percy was enjoying himself. Until he saw the snowball. Oh no! cried Percy. Oh no! Luckily, no one was hurt. But his driver was cross. Now I will have to go for help, he said. Percy waited in the cold. His funnel was freezing and his axles were shivering. At last, Thomas arrived with Sir Topham Hatt. He was very cross indeed. Whistles are for safety, he told Percy, not for playing games. You must only use your whistle when the time is right. Y yes, sir, shivered Percy. And he promised to use his whistle properly from now on. The next day, Percy was a very quiet engine indeed. He didn't use his whistle once. But as Percy came out of the tunnel, he gasped. A big snowdrift had slipped onto the tracks. Percy heard Thomas. He was heading straight for the snowdrift. If he did not stop in time, he would have an accident. I must warn him, cried Percy. Percy took the biggest puff he had ever taken, and he blew the loudest whistle he had ever blown. Something must be wrong, cried Thomas. And he applied his brakes just in time. Cinders and ashes, he gasped. Thank you, Percy. That evening, Sir Topham Hatt came to the sheds. Well done, Percy, he boomed. You blew your whistle at the right time and saved Thomas from an accident. You are a really useful engine, and a safe one. Percy was so proud his firebox tingled. Percy uses his whistle safely now, and all his friends are glad to see him. <laughs> <laughs>